só um gordinho gostado uh, uh, uh. Eu não sou de boca, sou da moda A mulherada gosta, a mulherada gosta do papai What's up guys? Welcome to one more video, Blue Sheep Cast. My name is Pablo. <laughs> My name is Manolo. <laughs> so today's video, we're gonna be talking today specifically to the ladies. Girls, do you guys ever talk to some guy or whatever, start flirting? And you guys been talking to for a while, but it seems like the conversation is not going anywhere, you're not sure what his intentions are. So today, we're gonna give you a little help. We're gonna be looking at specific signs to see if your crush is an F-boy. So, without delay, let, let it roll! roll. I feel like every girl, before she's actually like into a guy, she always has that like thought in the back of her mind, what if the guy is playing me? Uh, if you pay close attention, you could start already noticing signs from the beginning when you guys start talking. So if a guy starts calling you pet names like a babe, baby, sweetheart, mm -hmm. and stuff like that since the beginning and he doesn't even actually know you, there could be something going on there. Because like not every guy that calls a girl babe or babe is an F boy. But if from day one he already starts saying stuff like that, those could be the little signs you start noticing from the beginning. So if right now you go to your messages and you go to the conversation with that guy that just came to mind and you go to like the first time you guys talk and you start seeing those signs, you could count that as a point for that pointing. Sign number two. two. You could also notice a lot of signs by the way he takes his conversation. If he starts directing that conversation to always a sexual way or tries to get the chat into a more hot way, right there, that's already a no-no. That's like not a good sign. For example, this scenario. Hey. What are you doing? I'm gonna hop in the shower with you. What? Going to the shower without me? Coming back right there, that's a no no. This other scenario. What's up? Hey. How are you? I'm fine. Since you're bored, you wanna play a game? Oh, Let's play 20 questions. Alright, uh, what's your favorite color? Um, oh, that's nice. What's your bra size? So if you notice that your chico is trying to take it to a more sexual way, that's a point for the F-boy team. Sign number three. So if the guy hasn't texted you throughout the whole day, and when you're about to go to sleep, he sends yeah, no, no. a What's up? Or you up? We know why he's messaged you at that time. And now, so, so should you. you. We know what happens at night. When you're sleepy, it's almost like being drunk. You're high of no sleep. You're horny, that's what you are. You got fire. And that boy is just trying to take advantage of that. And in those late night conversations, something else comes into play. The pictures. If the guy says, shower time, shirtless picture. At the gym, shirtless picture. Oh, what are you doing? Just working out, not much. Or if the... I think somebody took the hint. It's still talking about the pictures. F boys have a certain face. Step number one, eyebrow up, other down. Step number two, lift up your phone, up. Not here, up. Step number three, flex your arm. There you go, you could be an F boy now. Hey! Point number three, four. F boys! Sign number four. four. I mean, four. Yeah. F boys never respect girls. Girls always have to set the limits. Because guys have no limits. Most of them don't always think with this. So if the guy you were talking to passed all these steps and he, you don't think he's an F boy, this one counts for double. You reach your limit and you say no mas. And he gets pissed off. He doesn't accept it. He doesn't respect you. Instead of saying, okay, I respect your limit, it's fine, but whatever you say goes. He gets angry. And he starts calling you stuff like prude or a tease. Those are all signs of an F boy. So if you show that, that's two points for an F boy team. And lastly, step number five. A real F boy will always try to escape real commitment. Because why would they want commitment with one girl when he could be with a lot of girls at the same time? That's what goes on in his mindset. But the real man is not the one who impresses many girls, but the one who impresses one girl many times. So for example, when you guys are talking and you mention something that requires commitment, or you try to make long-term plans, and he always tries to come out with attention. Make your way out of it. That's an F boy move. Because in the end of it, he just wants to have fun with you. Young boys, just wanna have fun. Uh -huh. So now that you girls are experts in identifying an F boy, guard your hearts. And watch out, cause you don't wanna be deceived again. Just to leave everything very clear, an F boy and a flirt are two different things. 
We'll talk about it in another video. Okay. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, give, give us, us one thumbs, thumbs up. up. If you didn't like this video, give us two thumbs, thumbs up. Don't forget to send the link of this video to every F boy you know. And girls, if you're going through this, send it to your girlfriends that are also could benefit from this. Don't forget to watch our last video that we did on the Kofi era that we talked about when should you kiss her. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And without delay, see you next time. Meh. <laughs>